Hey guys, it's me, my reborn, and I'm back with another video. So today is Monday, October 25th, and it's currently 5.55 p.m. I have a saint here. You guys just can't see him. But there he is, he's here, and I'm just going to change him for you all and talk about a topic. And you guys are actually like... The camera's kind of dirty, so B or B. Okay, I hope that's a little better for you all. He's just laying on just a blanket and not the boppy, so he looks kind of funny. But he's been wearing this really, really cute Converse All-Star outfit. And I just wanted to change him. And guys, I want to be completely 100% honest. I went in the baby's thing and I knew that there was a onesie on the side and I just grabbed it <laughs> I just grabbed it and I said that's what he's gonna wear usually I put more effort and actually look for something but today wasn't really um I wanted to do the video but I wasn't really wanting to look for the out an outfit for him so we're just gonna go with this yellow onesie it's actually like a mustard yellow in person it's showing up like a very bright summery bumblebee yellow on camera but it's actually like a dark mustard yellow i don't know what brand or size this is i believe it's newborn it says i need a nap it's exhausting being this awesome and i got that onesie in a bundle i usually buy the baby clothes in a bundle like a lot and i usually buy it that way so that i can have a variety of clothing without spending a lot of money on the clothes. Okay, we'll take off his socks first. So let's get into the topic. The topic that I wanted to talk about today is how do you know what babies are forever babies? So I'm going to be talking about that topic today. Uh, my definition of forever babies are babies that you will never settle or ever let go they will stay in your collection basically pretty much forever until they can so i do have some forever babies in my collection i have a lot now because i got him milano in september and those are my forever babies and i already had five forever babies prior to them so there's a lot of forever babies now now I have eight forever babies. Eight, that's so much. Or so many, I should say. Eight forever babies, but I cannot let, I cannot see myself let go of any of them. So I wanna talk about how do you know what babies are forever babies? So we'll go ahead and talk about that in just one second. You guys see that he has this white onesie on because when I originally changed him into this outfit, I didn't grab a white onesie, but then as soon as the video was over, I did tell you guys I was going to grab a white onesie and put it on underneath him. And that way, like, his paint, like, it doesn't rub off or anything like that. And I actually have to get a pack of white onesies to go under the baby's outfits. A pack of short sleeve and long sleeve since it is winter time. That's what I have to get. Anyways. How do you know if a baby is a forever baby? So for me, I usually like, do you know before you get the baby? Do you know when you see the baby? Do you know as soon as you purchase the baby, the baby's on the way? Do you know when the baby first arrived and you open the baby? Or do you know weeks or months later that that baby is going to be a forever baby? So actually for all of my babies, it was right before I got them like I don't necessarily want to say when I first saw them I knew they were going to be forever babies you know because the babies that I have were all in someone's personal collection at one of point at one point of time and so when I see the see the babies I'm like oh yeah these babies are cute but I don't I can picture and imagine them in my collection but I don't say like Oh, if I get that baby. Actually, I have. I've done that to a few people's babies. I'm like, if I have that baby, I would never sell it. 
<laughs> but for these babies, like realistically, I don't do that. But um, yeah, so for me, I know a baby is a fur baby as soon as I buy the baby. As soon as I buy the baby, I'm like, yep, I am going to give that baby for her. Um, more so as soon as the baby, like, actually come and I see the baby in person. Because for Eileen, as I hear, those were for babies before, um, like, right when I got them. But for Saint here, I, his previous mommy, or his only mommy, except for me, she had got him and then i was like oh my gosh that baby is so beautiful and i used to save all of his photos i know that sounds crazy but i used to save all of his photos on instagram and when i saw that he was for sale i was like i have to get that baby and so when i did end up buying him i didn't think to myself or say to myself oh yeah that he's gonna be a forever baby when he comes but as soon as i opened him up I knew that he was going to be a fur baby. For Milano, I was following his first mommy on Instagram and I wanted him so bad when I saw that he was for sale by his original first owner. And I just, I didn't message them. And then I happened to come across him again through his second owner and that's when he was up for sale again and i'm like you know the opportunity had already slipped through my hands the first time so the least i i have to i have to just inquire about this baby because i wanted that baby so bad like ever since i seen milano with this first owner i just wanted him i did i was like oh my god i need that baby <laughs> I was manifesting like I need that baby I need that baby and look I got the baby so you never know but with Milano it was hard it was actually hard for me to get him not okay I don't want to word it like that it wasn't hard for me to get him but I just had purchased Symphony and Judas literally a couple days or a week before I saw Milano was for sale so I was like should I do it should I not I just spent so much money on them that's gonna be so many babies coming. I was like, um, I don't know. But then something gave me. I knew Milano was gonna be a fur baby as soon as I messaged his previous owner and I ended up getting him. So I knew he was a fur baby then. Like I said, with Ilena, I knew she was a fur baby right before I got her, as well as Zaire and Nolan and Messiah. And I have Willow, who I, she is a forever baby, but I'll get more into her in a different video once she finally gets out of storage. You guys are probably, those of you who are new to my channel are probably wondering who the heck Nolan and Messiah are. Like, I keep talking about them, you guys never see them. Those two babies, I had got them in 2017, and I still have them. They're just currently in storage right now. Hopefully next year you guys will see them in some videos because I miss them so, so much. But anyways, that's how I know a baby is going to be a fur baby is when I feel like that instant connection. And like, I just, I can't picture my collection without that baby. Like I cannot picture my collection without him and Milano, September, Eileen, Zaire, Messiah, Nolan, Willow. I cannot picture my collection off of babies at all and uh, for September same with her I kept I saw that she was for sale you guys know I just bought all those babies and then I was I'm still trying to sell babies so I'm like September please please but then I just ended up getting her and I'm like I will never ever sell her ever because this is even an absolute dream to have her also another this factor actually doesn't mm, okay this factor does and doesn't play a key role into who's going to be a forever in my collection because I just feel like I have to just be connected to them. But this might kind of play a little bit. So most of my babies are sold out limited edition kits like April. This is April by Joanna, Casimir, and Zach. 
He is sold out limited edition. You can always find people. Well, okay, let me not say always. You can sometimes see people selling their Aprils, but with the blanks, there are still some blank April kits for sale. And they are on the pricey side, about four, five hundred, six hundred dollars just for a blank kit. And I I don't want to spend that on a blank kit. And this is how if I got a blank kit April and I got the baby as a custom, this is exactly how I would want that baby to look. Except with fruited hair. This is exactly how I want that baby to look. Same with Milano, he is sold out limited edition. Sunny, his blank, I haven't saw a blank kit of him in a while, but his was like $800 blank kit. I was like, woo. <laughs> but with him, that's how I would want him to look as well. And I know that if I ever lose my bond with him, which I will not, as he is a dream baby, but say hypothetically if i do i probably still wouldn't even let him go or him because again they are sold out limited edition kits and they are hard to come by and they are hard to get so i know a lot of people hold on to their babies just for that reason just because they are sold out limited edition and you know i don't blame them at all because these babies are rare and limited and very very hard to come by Eilina, she is an open edition i think no she might be limited edition but i don't think she's sold out limited edition yeah so eilina's gritty by the Lemon eagles and i'm like 90 percent sure she is limited edition but her kids aren't sold out so if i were wanting to get another gritty i could do that but i can't do that for him or for milano i can't do that for september september is my full body silicone baby girl she is Meryl by Lillian Brizo, Ford in her silicone by Claire Taylor. I will un be unable to get her. I mean, there might be a few blanks, but full body silicone blanks are so hard to come by for the limited edition ones. It's so hard to come by. So again, that kind of plays a key role. A little, no, like I said, it kind of plays a role and it kind of doesn't. I feel like these babies are my dream and they're like literally to perfection and how I would want the baby to look in this kit. So I think that's why I feel so connected to them and that's why they're my favorite babies. Not necessarily because they are the sold out ones edition, but then again, that could play a small part in that as well. But like, he's like so perfect. He's just so cute, guys. So that's pretty much it for this video. I kind of worded it a little bad. I was like, that's not really how I wanted to say how I know these babies are my favorite babies. So I do hope you guys can kind of get what I'm saying. I sometimes mix up my words and sometimes I don't make sense. So I hope you guys understand exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> I do not like this onesie on him, but we're just going to leave it on him for the sake of this video so you guys in the comments let me know how do you know how do you know the babies that are your forever babies are your forever babies is it the connection when i say how do you know the babies are forever babies i want to know like as soon as you saw like a picture of them as soon as you bought them as soon as you opened them up was it months later weeks later that's how you knew the baby was going to be a collection forever or was it just an instant bond an instant connection you just can't see yourself without them like i hope again i hope you guys know what i'm saying i kind of sound crazy i'm like i hope they know what i'm saying but i just want to know how you guys know what babies are your forever babies how do you guys decide who stays forever and who goes or who will eventually go also if you guys don't mind i do have one other question before i close out this video how many babies are in your forever baby collection so i have a personal collection of the babies who i don't have up for sale and then i have another collection of my forever babies so again i have him who is saint i have my sunny who is milano my full body silicone baby girl september um gertie by love the eagles eilina Zaire, who is Levi, I have 
Messiah, Nolan, and Willow. So I have a total of eight. So I'm gonna say seven. I have a total of eight babies in my Forever collection currently. And I feel like that's a lot of babies since I don't want really no more than like 15, 16 babies in my collection altogether. But, you know, if I end up collecting a total of 16 babies and they all happen to be my forever babies, then hey, so be it. I will be perfectly content with those babies because I am perfectly happy with those that are in my I am happy with those that are in my forever babies. Okay guys, I'm not making sense anymore. This video is gonna be chopped and screwed because I know I'm gonna have a long time editing this and I have to get it out to you guys by tomorrow morning. So that's kind of me for making this video so late. What was I gonna say? Oh, you guys have been loving Seven's morning routine that I did with him. Crazy thing about it, I was super tired when I edited it and I wasn't even going to post it because it wouldn't save on my laptop. I edited it on my laptop and I was having a hard time saving it so I wasn't gonna upload it the day that I did. And magically I tried again and it ended up saving. I actually ended up uploading it at a later time than I normally do. So for it to be doing this well, makes me smile. It makes me so happy and I'm glad you guys are liking the routine videos. I wanted to start getting back into the routine videos, but I don't have a lot of baby stuff like how I had a couple of years ago. I don't have that here with me right now. So, you know, it's a little harder to make it realistic. So I am trying my best. But I am going to be doing one more routine video in the next week or so. And you guys are going to love that video. But then after that, I don't know. I'm going to be running out of ideas. <laughs> okay. Let me take you guys off the tripod. Alright, look at him. Look at this baby. His texture is amazing. You guys can actually see it for once. Let's see if his painted hair shows up. Uh, it does. I told you guys one of these days I was going to get his hair to show up on camera. A lot of people think he's bald, but he said, nope, I'm not bald. I have hair. <laughs> Tell him you have hair, buddy. And he's just so perfect the way he is. I don't even want to get him rooted at all. He's so cute. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, you guys can do so at my underscore reborns. I do have quite a few babies for sale. I have six babies for sale. So if you're interested, you guys can DM me on Instagram or you guys can email me serious inquiries only, please and thank you. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below anything you guys want in the comments if any video requests. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Hit that subscribe button, also ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. All right, me and Saint will talk to you guys later, or is it Saint and I? Me and my horrible glamour. <laughs> we will talk to you guys later. We hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night whenever you guys are seeing this. And bye.